the short-eared owl, a beautiful and rare breeding bird of our upland. The RSPB has received detailed allegations of the intensive persecution of this bird on grouse moors. In April 2017, three RSPB investigators happened to be present when two owls were shot on Wernside Moor in Cumbria. Following the shooting of the first bird, the offender hid the body in a dry stone wall. Yeah, he's putting rocks on top of it. But 13, I've got 1357 on the camcorder. Is that accurate? Yeah, 1357. Yeah, so it's about two minutes ago. So right, just he's, he's just put some rocks on top of it. He's now picked up his gun and walking away from it. Okay, Tim, give us a, give us a description of what happened while it's fresh in your memory. So he was walking along, a shorted owl flushed approximately 30 yards in front of him. Yep. He then fired a shot. The owl fell to the ground and was still flapping. He then walked approximately five more yards, fired another shot. Uh, the owl was still flapping. Uh, he then walked along, got in line with, got on top of the owl, put his foot on it, grabbed it by its wings, and then walked along approximately another 40 yards or so to the wall, got to the wall, seemed to place the owl against the wall, presumably stomped, and then you can see his feet stomping against, presumably the owl against the wall, and uh, he then put his gun down, picked up the owl again, put it against the wall, and then proceeded to place rocks on top of the owl, and then so, picked up his gun and walked away. So the a short while later, a second owl was seen shot, and the offender, over two and a half kilometres away, was filmed carrying the body and then repeatedly stamping it into the ground. One RSPB officer remained at the observation point. A second went to meet the police down in the valley. The third made his way to an access point onto the moor and was able to covertly film local gamekeeper Tim Cowan negotiating the gate as he left the scene of the owl shootings. However, at this point it is believed Cowan spotted the police vehicles in the valley below. Filming from the observation point, Cowan can be seen walking across the turning area to get a better view into the valley. At this point, he met the RSB officer who had the camcorder still running and recorded the conversation. Hello, Tim. Hello. You're going to wait here. You're going to wait for Tim, isn't it? You're going to have to wait here, Tim. Tim, Tim. Tim. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm with the suspect now. He's caught me behind the wall. Can you get the police off the earth front, Tim? He's walking back onto the moor. Yeah, I'm going to call him. arrived a few minutes later, by which time Cowan had doubled back and was walking back towards his vehicle. Two North Yorkshire police officers and an RSPB officer intercepted Cowan who was arrested and searched and taken away from the scene. The vehicle Cowan had abandoned was searched. For the purpose of the tape, 
it's uh, 16 31 hours the rear side door of the vehicle has been opened this is just a quick video of the interior we have a firearm laid out on the rear seat and on the floor we have a, a plastic peregrine decoy there's a camouflage hood uh, Fox Pro calling device Police and RSPB then made their way to the area on the moor where the first owl was shot. I suppose to take this as a section of dry stone wall. I have a couple of what appear to be raptor feathers here. And on this stone, what's possibly blood. There appears to be a tiny feather there as well. Do you want to photograph the shrub before we? Officer 803 Michael Carr has drawn our attention to a position in the wall, two metres from where we originally searched where the blood and the feathers were, having pulled back some rocks. Having pulled back some rocks, we've got a talon, and a feathered leg, which would be consistent with a shorty owl, which we'll see in a moment. Turn it so it's got the belly up with the underwing towards on. So just see the underwing down. So see the underwing. Yeah. So I can confirm this is this is definitely a short eared owl. That's the flam here. Due to fading light, it was not possible to find the second owl, and a return was made the following afternoon. So the purpose of the tape. The time is 17:24 hours, Thursday, the 20th of April 2017. This is a continuation of the search from yesterday looking for a second corpse of a short-eared owl right from Heinlein Short Moss uh, The view I'm looking here is back towards the observation point and my colleague Howard Jones and Sergeant Kelly are on the far ridge line giving us some directions They have directed us into this location and on the ground here we've noticed a number a number of feathers which look consistent with shorted owl. Num numerous feathers here. There's a, what appears to be a line of footprints in uh, in the in the moss in the vegetation in that direction. And then swinging around to this side, we followed what appears to be a line of uh, footprints here and one or two additional feathers to an area where the, the footprints appear to end where Tim Jones and PC Carr have stood OK, off you go The first of the tape, 17 31 we believe we found the body of the bird Tim Jones is taking video and the officer is now recovering it Ten seconds. Yeah, make just confirmation you're you're right on top of that area now. Yeah, we're found it. It's clearly either a short eared or a long eared owl from the breast. Yeah, it's a, it's a short eared owl.
before leaving, the rock where the first owl had been stamped on the previous day was recovered. Forensic testing by the Sasser Laboratory in Scotland confirmed the presence of shorted owl DNA. Post-mortem examinations confirmed both birds were shot and also had bone fractures, no doubt from being stamped on.